Um, okay, so uh, there was another, I think this was even a tweet, where Roman Reigns said that he was coming back to Raw to take care of business or something. Right, and then they said that he wouldn't. So, yeah, that's the answer, you know, because we both know that, like, they were going to, they, they might have fallen below 2 million viewers Monday, um, you know, going against the Warriors and, and also the Celtics and Bucks game. So, I mean, that's, that's that, that, you know, and, and plus they have no momentum or anything like that, so it's just... It's they're, they're in a bad way. So you knew that they were going to pull something out. And the idea was, you know, I, I, don't, I thought they might bring back Steve Austin or something. But <laughs> their idea was to bring Roman Reigns to Raw. And other guys, they canceled their, their Monday night SmackDown house show. So a lot of the SmackDown guys might. Well, I, I'm going to guess. No one's told me this. But my guess is you're going to have Roman Reigns. And you're also going to have the four women and the four guys that are in the Money in the Bank match, you know, running in and doing an angle maybe maybe that's what they'll end up doing but you know the idea is to have a a bigger show so we'll see we'll see if it works did you hear anything about vince's reaction to both tv ratings well just this i mean this move i I mean it's obviously he wasn't happy but i didn't know if i didn't hear of him like going on a rampage or anything like that no 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 one's but i haven't asked anyone since because thursday is usually the day where he you know he knows the ratings on mm-hmm. tuesday but thursday is the day that that's like that's the day that he kind of like studies them studies and... it if yeah and i didn't hear from anybody after after uh wednesday i don't think so yeah i didn't hear i heard that like if something's gonna happen it'll be thursday but you know i mean i i you know the reaction was is we're gonna put roman reigns and we're gonna cancel our house show on monday and we're gonna get some smackdown people on the show and that's the answer. That was, you know, I'm sure he's not happy. That, look, the TV industry is talking about this. You know, um, the repercussions of this could be pretty big in a lot of ways. So, the, you know, I mean, in, in the sense, just the perception of wrestling. There's very much in the TV industry, and it really wasn't even there even a month ago. But right now, because of, you know, both shows doing record lows and being so much down from last year, in the TV industry, there is this perception that, wow, wrestling's like... Um, I, don't, I don't want to say collapsing, but wrestling wrestling's cold now, which before there really wasn't that perception. Um, what 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 are the target numbers that we're looking for come uh, Tuesday morning when the ratings come out? Like, what would you consider to be um, success or failure? Or I would this say, is solid, and, and they, I would they, they, I would okay. say I would say. Anything, I mean, even maintaining last week's record low, I would consider it something good. If they go a little below, I would even say it's okay. If it's down, so I would say anything below 2.05 million, I would say it's not good. Um, as long as it's over 2.05, uh, it's okay, considering the competition. And then for uh, SmackDown on Tuesday, um, uh, the competition's not as tough on, on that one. Um, but if Raw's at 2.05, you know, I would say anything, you know, under 1.9, you know, if you're over 1.9, I think you're, I, I hate to call that okay, because that's a terrible number for for that for, for SmackDown, but I think that no one's going to panic because everyone expects it. Because that is one of the things, when I was talking to people on, you know, during the week about the numbers, and, you know, it's like, you know, what's Vince's reaction going to be? And it's like, well, he'll react on Thursday, you know, he'll make, he's going to make whatever change he's going to make, he's going to make. But the other thing was, it's like, look, he knows, you know what I mean? He knows going in, he knows what's going on. He's not like, like, did he know it was going to be record lows? Maybe no, but yes, he knows it's cold and he knows the, you know, they've been down for the last several weeks. So it wasn't like, it's, it's not like he's sitting there, you know, unaware that this stuff is happening. Now it, it did go down more than most expected, but it's not like it's out of the blue and all of a sudden, you know, um, you know, it's like he's blindsided. It's like, you know, we, we've, we've, we've seen this for a couple of weeks now. What are his past, what are the things that he used to do when ratings were down? Put himself on TV. Put himself on TV. It's one point until he got older. And he, and he may start, you know, we may see Vince on TV a lot this week for all I know. You know, more McMahon's on TV. Uh, I'm just trying to think well, of... Shane, Shane's going to be all over SmackDown Tuesday with his tag team title tournament thing. Mm-hmm. Or whatever they're doing for... I don't even know if they're doing tournament. They just said they're going to announce... Because at SmackDown, they got two teams. One's Heavy Machinery, who are never even, who are having been on SmackDown, and the other one's Rusev and Nakamura. And then the other teams are the B team and um, the Colognes, right? So unless they switch somebody back, um, which they may do, 
or bring somebody up. Um, let's see what teams they got. And you can bring up Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch. Um, but I mean, I know there, I know there's people who are afraid that Triple H's uh, storylines are going to get you know messed up again because Vince is going to want to bring people up again. Maybe, maybe you know that's a sign of you know the ratings being down. So one thing um, for the takeover, uh, which is going to be June first, mm, you know they'll announce the city, Bridgeport, Connecticut's the name, the city going around, Webster Bank Arena. Um, is what's been said, but that's not official. So it's going to be the Gargano and Adam Cole rematch. It's going to be, um, it's not going to be a three-way. It's going to be a singles match. Matt Riddle is going to face um, Roderick Strong, Velveteen Dream against Tyler Breeze, North American title. And uh, four team for the tag team title, uh, Street Profits, uh, Birch and Lorcan, um, were the other teams um oh geez what other teams do they got there uh, forgotten sons and i'm trying to remember what the other team is um fish and o'reilly i think it is fish and o'reilly and then i don't know what they're doing as far as um women's title i'm not sure exactly where they're going to go maybe eo you know um that's probably the right one to go with. Is so, the, so they did a two out of three falls match, and now they're just going to do a straight singles for the for the the championship. Yeah, as far as I know. Yeah, maybe a ladder match. Yeah, maybe a ladder match. Um, just one more thing about the ratings. I I can't even think of what rabbit he Vince can pull out of his hat this time. Well, the rabbit's Roman Reigns. I don't know if that's a big enough rabbit. I guess but, we'll, but Roman Reigns was on SmackDown, and they did the worst SmackDown rating. And he was featured on the show. <laughs> I know it's they don't have they don't have they don't have. Um, I mean, I think if they build it up, um, if they get you know before the Saudi show, they'll probably have a show where they bring in Undertaker, Lesnar, and Goldberg to television. I think that that will help maybe for a week or two. Um, let's see, the Saudi show is June the 9th, the June the 7th, so that would mean, that's a Friday, so whatever that Monday is, that would be the 3rd, so that, maybe that will save them from a record low during, because the, that's around the time of the finals, so maybe that will save them a little bit, is, is that show, and then after, you know, once the NBA finals are up, they will be up a little bit, but, you know, even so. Yeah. You know, it, it looks. They could get real. They can get real, real low. Both those shows bef by June, and then just imagine during football season where it's going to go. I mean, we're going to be. We're probably going to have some some games during football season at two million, maybe even lower, um, for SmackDown for sure. For Raw, you know, well, SmackDown's going to be on Fox pretty soon into football season, a couple weeks in, and then those numbers should be. They'll, they'll push the hell out of SmackDown and everything. So the, the numbers at first, I'm sure, will be good. After, you know, there'll be, you know, there'll be a short honeymoon period. After that, I don't know. 